Let's take a look at some bridging methods. Speed bridging, jitter bridging, breezely bridging, moonwalk bridging, god bridging, wishly bridging, tele bridging, andromeda bridging, and much, much more. Let me explain. Minecraft has been around for over a decade and is arguably the greatest video game of all time. As the game and community surrounding it progressed throughout the years, a popular minigame called Bed Wars took the players by storm. Within just a few months, players began to advance their skills, and soon enough, the most overlooked mechanic became the most important. Bridging. Debates about the best bridging method have been argued since the beginning of the game and still continues to this day. So this video, we're gonna figure it out once and for all. What is the best way to bridge? So as most of you know, my channel is built around god bridging. Although god bridging is one of the fastest bridging methods, speed is not the only factor that determines efficiency. Oh my god. To figure out what the best bridging method is, we're gonna base it off three main factors. Number one, the maximum speed of the bridge. As a wise hedgehog once said, Number two, the consistency of the bridge. What's the point of going fast if you fall 70% of the time? Dude, bro, no. Oh. You can't be serious. And number three, the time it takes to learn the bridge. Is it really worth not going outside of your house for over two months and having no interaction with females or friends just so you can move slightly faster in an online block game for nine year olds? Yes. As you saw before, there are endless ways to bridge in Bed Wars. However, for this video, we're going to focus on the most popular. Here's what the bridging methods are explained. Speed bridging. Moving backwards or sideways at a constant speed while repeatedly pressing and releasing the sneak key. Breezely bridging. Strafing from side to side going backwards while timing your drag clicks. Moonwalk bridging. Going straight back while tapping S or D and timing it with your clicks. God bridging. Going sideways without crouching and jumping every 7 to 8 blocks while timing your drag clicks. Tele bridging. Jumping off at full sprint and turning around to create a bridge by drag clicking and repeating a smooth motion. The others are just too uncommon, or um, <laughs> stupid. Got that? Let's move on. Now, contrary to popular belief, I am not great at all of these bridging methods. In fact, I am only good at god bridging. Lucky for you guys, your boy is famous, and I contacted some of the top bridgers to help out. Yeah. Let's go! I just killed a woman. Hugger. Wait, wait, I want, I want her. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's just Hello, Derpo. Hello, Dugile. Nico, hello. So, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Mm hmm. Yeah. Bet. How long did it take to learn speed bridging? Speed bridging? Like, um, two days, I think. I honestly don't remember. You're kidding. Dude, that lady took a second. I know this kid is lying. It probably took him like a month to get it down. How long did it take you to learn breezy vision? I just kind of did it after I learned to drag click. A week because I was jitter clicking? Um, I used to actually single click breezy vision. It took me like a month-ish. Single click breezy? This man must be so good with his fingers. Wait. How long did it take to learn moonwalk? I think in like two days two weeks a week or two but like the timing was super weird nico stop making excuses you just suck how long did it take to learn god bridge a uh, two weeks to learn it and then like around one to three months to master it took me like a while to like actually get consistent if you don't want to go outside and you have no friends then uh, learn how to god bridge are you okay nico? <laughs> i have no friends <laughs> <laughs> like two hours two hours i uh, i can't believe it it took me months to master the legendary god bridge, and it took this kid two hours. I sacrificed so much time. I didn't go outside, I didn't eat food, I didn't talk to females, trust me a lot of them were hitting me up, and I had to piss in bottles for the grind. That's it. I'm done. It's over. Okay, finally, how long did it take to learn telebridging? A month-ish, I think. It took me at least two or three months to get decent at it. Uh, I'm still working on that. <laughs> really, Nico? Because you made a video called I Master Telebridging. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna try to telebridge. What? Oh. This video is gonna be really painful. I didn't, I didn't even place a single box. 
All right, uh, next question. What's your favorite mouse to use? The Rocket King uh, 120. The King is like, it's really good at for drag and it's also really good for butterfly. Okay, so I have five mice actually. I have the G502, oh, the Model O, XCD, the Rocket Koa, and my Bloody A70. So I'm currently using the XCD. Yeah. Bro, this man spent over $250 on gaming mice for Minecraft. Who would do that? <laughs> also, he like didn't really give an answer. So like, what the fuck, they're both. Just curious, when was the last time you went outside? Oh god. Um, a year ago? Yeah, me too. Definitely oh been a bit. I think I went outside this morning, but... You see here, kids? This is what you call lying. Telly bridges never see the light of day. Well, actually, I went outside today and I talked to women puggers. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so finally, what do you think is the best bridging method? Let me think. After the interviews, I had to run multiple experiments to find the best bridging method possible. I had Nico, Derpold, and Dugal do multiple bridges to find the fastest and most consistent bridge. There's two parts for this section. Part 1 is a speed test, and the YouTubers go as fast as they can on every bridge, and I choose the fastest time. I would do the average of the times, but it's too much work and too much math, and I'm lazy. Part 2 is a consistency test. I made each YouTuber do every bridge 5 times, and recorded how many times they completed the bridge, and how many times they failed. And let's just say they failed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> also, although this isn't a competition, everybody wants to know who the best bridger is. Is it Dugile, the world's best heli bridger, Derpled, the man who pulls off every single crazy type of god bridge, or Nico, the legend of god bridging? Keep watching to see who takes home the crown. Okay, so I'm gonna just have you do each bridge as fast as you can. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. This is it's called the speed bridge. It's actually um, the most consistent bridging method, actually. So I'm gonna 100% make this at the end. Bump, 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 told ya. Let's go, dude, guy, let's go. Don't fall, don't fall. You're almost there, you're almost there. Oh, yeah, that counts, <laughs> right? Moonwalk, I'm that much, right? Hmm. Easy. Nico, Nico, Nico. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. Easy, dude. Yeah, yeah Nico, you kind of uh, you kind of like went a little bit overboard, but you know what? Nah, it's it's fine. fine. Let's go. This is the fastest one and the hardest, dude. Uh, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. nice. Okay, so now it's the consistency part, which means you're gonna do five of each bridge, and I'm just gonna make fun of you every time you fail. Okay, so obviously, nobody finds it fun to watch people bridge over 75 times in a row, unless you're a complete weirdo. So I'm just gonna show the funny parts, and I'll show a screen at the end that says how many times they completed each bridge. Nico, 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 go, let's go. Ooh, no, let's go. No. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> It's, it's okay, Derpo, it's okay. <laughs> Going for a per perfect aim, not gonna fall, let's go. Oh! oh okay. I can escape. Damn, okay, let's go. Bro, you're actually like consistent. Yeah, I thought I was bad at this. I guess I'm good now. Should not have said that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nico, that was absolutely insane. Why? Insane. First attempt. Not even hard. Oh. Oh. But even. Uh, let's go. Let's go. go. Oh, zero for five. GG. <laughs> Boom, let's go. Oh, too yeah. easy. One. Two. two three, three. Nine. Four. four five. five. Let's freaking go. Dude, I can't Two. even- Okay, this is gonna- this is gonna- this is not gonna- This is- that's Three. Gonna 
Let's go, five. Oh my god. Oh my Fourth god, Nico. All right, last attempt, a thousand dollars if you make it all the way. Okay. Bro, bro, oh, you're, you're it. insane. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. As shown by the numbers produced by these iconic bridgers, speed bridging was the most consistent method, whereas the fastest was, unsurprisingly, telebridging. Now we come back to the big question. What is the best way to bridge? Well, here's what I think. In my subjective point of view, I think that god bridging is the best, as it is not only decently consistent, but is also very, very fast. Obviously, I might have a little bit of a biased opinion due to my love for god bridging, so my answer is invalid. However, earlier in the video, I said I would show you with the YouTuber's answer to that question, so here it is. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so finally, what do you think is the best bridging method? Uh, god bridging. I still speed bridge in Bed Wars. I think it's the best like type of bridge. Speed bridging is actually worth it. Well, I mean speed bridging if like you're counting like how long it takes to learn it. As you can see, from a statistical and objective standpoint that is based on the answers of professionals, speed bridging is the best way to bridge. It takes the least amount of time to learn, is decently fast, and it's definitely the most consistent out of every other bridging method we have tested. Something interesting I found was that speed bridging was actually faster than breezely bridging in some cases. Now, this might be different for everyone since some people are better at timing their clicks, have insane accuracy, or just own the best drag clicking mouse. Understand that Bedwars is a huge game and has thousands of players actively trying to increase the skills on a daily basis. Whether you're playing casually or trying to get more into competitive gameplay, we all have different opinions and stances on this topic. So honestly, the one true best bridging method is the one that is most efficient for you and optimizes your chances of getting that victory displayed on your screen. Hopefully this video helped you guys understand the time and the amount of skill it takes to learn and master each of these bridges. Now that you have this info, go ahead and start practicing. Who knows, maybe I'll see you guys at the top of the leaderboard someday. Anyways, this is Korean, y'all hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next video. Goodbye!